good everyone welcome to the part two of thermodynamics we are still on uh, thermodynamics this is actually the part two of thermodynamics and if you have not watched the first video on thermodynamics please do well to do so because this is actually the part two of it there is need for you to glance to the first video before coming to this second video remember my name is Guido Academy so let's get started We'll be dealing with for this particular video we'll be dealing with these three concepts one of them is the properties of a system properties of a system number two thermodynamic function then number three processes of a system so for the first one in terms of the properties of a system there are two properties of a system the first one we have there is the extensive properties then i believe you know the other one already intensive property or you can call it the external properties and the internal properties so the extensive property of a system is dependent on the magnitude of the system i repeat the extensive property of a system is dependent on the magnitude of the material of the system so an example of extensive property of a system which is dependent on the magnitude of the of the of the of the material we have I give a name only to that, which is VM, V I E M. So whenever you remember this, just know that these are the extensive property. So the first one we have there is volume. I stands for internal energy. Yes, this E stands for entropy, and N stands for mass. So volume is dependent on the the, the 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 magnitude of the of the of the material under consideration internal energy is the same thing entropy is the same thing and mass is as well what the same thing so these are extensive property any property of a system any property at all of a system that is the, these are just the few ones that we have these are just the few ones we have others they are much they are much so any property of a system at all that is dependent on the magnitude of the system or of the material under consideration is called extensive properties why for intensive property you already know extensive is dependent why intensive is what independent so any other property apart from this one mentioned we always refer them to as uh, uh, as an intensive property and like what i said intensive property is also the same thing as as internal property and we can so Temperature is one of them. We have temperature as an example. We have uh, pressure. We have uh, velocity and others. Let's say ETC. So these are the examples of uh, intensive properties, and these are the example of what of extensive property. So in an examination, the question will always look like this: Which of the following is an intensive property? Which of the following is an intensive property? Like what I said, whenever you just see V, I, E, M, just now, these are extensive. So anyone that is not in this particular column, they are all what? Intensive. So if you are asked, which of the following is an intensive properties? Option A, volume. You know already volume is wrong. Option B, entropy. Option C, mass. Option D, density. So volume is there. Entropy is there mass is there but density is not there so density will be in this column so density please take note density is an intensive property why these ones here they are extensive property density velocity pressure temperature they are all independent of the what of the magnitude of that material that consideration so but velocity internal energy entropy and mass which is vm they are dependent on the magnitude of the material that is under consideration so please Take note of the properties of a system and the examples. And the question might also come in this format. Which of the following properties of a system is dependent on the magnitude? So the one that is dependent is extensive, while the one that is independent is what? Intensive. So let's continue with the next step, which is function. Thermodynamic function is of two types. We have the state function, and the second part, we have the what? The path function. We have the state function, and we have the path function. Now, let me say this. If someone asks you, how are you? And you said, fine. That is a state function. You are talking about the initial state and the final state of yourself. 
How was your day? Ah, my day went well. That is a state version. But if someone will ask you, how did you spend, let's say, your first five days in Delsu? Say, so, wow, it was it was nice. That's the state version. But you have if you give a detail of what happened in Delsu, maybe uh, I was coming so uh, I was I was going to Biarko. Then the Kekema was saying this. They said everything is expensive. You are not describing what happened in Delta State University Abraka. That is not a past portion. State portion is dependent on the initial and the final. It explains what happened. It, it also will explain what happened. It tells you the value of the initial, then tells you the value of the final. Why for a past portion tells you what is going on within the system. So a system that explains what is going on, that tells you what is going on in the initial and then the final state is called a state function. Why the one that tells you what is going on in the whole system is called a path function. An example of a path function, now let me show you how you can differentiate the state function from a path function. I believe that you can see t2 minus t1. We can have uh, dt is equals to t2, all about t1. That is for temperature. We can also have time, t2 minus t1. We can also have that is for dt now. We can also have, uh, let's say, M2 minus M1. We can also have initial velocity or final velocity minus initial velocity, anyone. We can also have, I believe that you have seen something like this before. So if you can give me something that is initial and final, that's a state function. We can have P2 pressure minus P1. We can have, uh, we should have thing in game, we should have thing in game. We have temperature, we have volume, I've mentioned volume, okay. Volume, we have V2 minus V1. So anything at all you can think of that can give us the nature and the final, like in mathematics, we have Y2 minus Y1, S2 minus. So all this one that can give you the nature and the final, it is called a state function. And please take note, the differential of a state function is exact. So if they ask you a question like this, what is the differential of a state function? The answer is what? Is It has an exact differential. Why for a path function, the, 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 is, is not an exact, which is, we call it in exact, which is not exact. So the differential of a state function is exact, why the differential of a path function is what? In exact. So any question that you see in this format, please take note. State talks about the initial the final, that means it's exact. Why path function? It would not beat around the bush, tell you what is going on, what happened in the system. When I put the acid in this, it was doing like this, it was doing like this. It will give you a detailed information, which is the path function. For example, someone asks you, what is your CGPA? Ah, uh, sir, my CGPA is 5.0. I started the, the school with no GP, but currently now my CGPA is 5.0. That is a state function. But someone asks, what is your CGPA? Eh, uh, sir, when I check my results, uh, one of the course was missing. And I asked, they told me that the lecturer is wicked. And I asked the lecturer, the lecturer was like this. That is a path function. We don't care about the stories. So those ones, they are called the what? The path function. So an example of path function, there is no way you can have a... Uh, a heat as which is energy as q2 minus q1 we don't have heat like this heat is not heat can never be written like this we cannot have uh, which is the q we can also have the w is equal to w2 minus w1 so heat and work is a what a path function why temperature uh, uh what's it called again Time, mass, volume, velocity, pressure, uh, anything that you can think of that has P2, P1, initial final, anything you can think of that has initial definer, it is a state function. And the differential of a state function is exact. Why the differential of a path function is what? In exact. Then for a process of a system, we have four processes of a system. For the processes, they are actually four processes. The, the first one, Let's say isochloric. The second one, let's say isobaric. Third one, let's say isotherma. Why the fourth one is adiabatic. So the first one we have there is isochloric. The second one we have there is isobaric. The third one is isotherma. Why the last but not the least is adiabatic. Batic. Now, the first thing that will come to your mind is whenever you hear the word ISO, what comes to your mind? Please, ISO means the same or constant. So we can say ISO is the same or what? 
is the same or what constant so now isotopy the same proton isotonic the same neutron uh -huh. so let's relate this to this now isochloric chloric is talking about volume so please take note chloric is talking about volume baric is talking about pressure Thema is talking about what i know you, you have got to the answer already temperature why the about thing is talking about heat so now for an isochloric process the volume is constant throughout the system i repeat for an isochloric process the volume is constant throughout the system isobaric process pressure is constant isothermal process temperature is constant why for an adiabatic process we don't say heat is constant what we say heat is neither supplied to the system nor removed from the system so that's to say if you don't supply heat to the system and if you don't remove if heat cannot be supplied to the system and heat cannot be removed from the system that means we say the system is what adiabatic like what i said the other time we have open system closed system isolated and adiabatic system that was in our first video you can glance through that so that you understand better so for an adiabatic system heat is neither supplied nor removed from the system so but there's something i want you to take into most especially those of you that will be writing del soon chm 101 exam a question might come with this format for an isochloric process dash is constant please the answer is what volume isobaric pressure isotherma temperature why adiabatic heat is neither supply nor remove so in for isochloric we say dv is equal to zero for isobaric we say dp is equal to zero for isotherma we say dt is equal to zero why adiabatic we say q is equal to what zero please take note i never wrote the capital letter v dv is equal to zero dp is equal to zero dt is equal to zero q is equal to zero please it's not the capital letter v it is not the capital letter p it's not the t it's not the capital letter t so please take note of that and now i want to ask why is it that is not the q equals to zero who can tell us just guess just try i have said that before it's not the q it is q equals to zero why is it this one is the t this one is the p why is it that this one is q equals to zero because all these ones here they are state function we can have v2 minus v1 or v1 minus v2 v2 minus p1 which is they have initials are final and i told you the other time that where is it again where is it where is it and i told you the other time that q state function and path function yes q it is a path function so you can't have something like this so yes it's a path function. you can't have something like this assuming we have w as well we not have the w so w will also be equals to zero that if work is constant but there's nothing like w is equal to zero so please take note of this if q is equal to zero not the q so if q is equal to zero the reason is because q is a path function that is heat is a path function why the t the p the v they are all what state function thanks for watching if you have any question at all regarding um this whole stuff please feel free to drop it in the comment section and I want to ask you a question, please. I will be expecting the answer from you in the comment section. The question is this. We have two functions already. I said we have a state function and we have a path function. A state, what is the differential of a state function? What is the differential of a path function? I repeat, what is the differential of a state function? And what is the differential of a path function? The part three of this particular video will be loaded very soon. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to share the video to your loved ones. I believe that if you do that concurrently, that will be a motivation to me to create more videos on chemistry. Not just on 100 level, not just on 200 level, from 100 level that to final year. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.